need to take I'll come and see it. This is going to take a while. <laughs> this is going to take a while. Sure. I just hope it's funnier when you got them did for answers. Oh, that, oh, that was fun. <laughs> he did. No, he did. not uh, Well, most of it he did. So I gave him the book that says, you know, the journal that says, I am going to die. They go to Afghanistan. As you all know, uh, Commander Owen and I had worked together for uh, quite a while um, upstairs in the Puzzle Palace there, um, right next to each other. So he could reach out and touch me often, right next door. And he, uh, those of you who are around the office uh, might have heard these sayings quite often. I call them uh, Craigmoisms. God damn it, Rich. I ain't got time for this shit. <laughs> that comes in, in, in a couple different forms. Either he's got a phone call that he really needs to make, even though he didn't have to five minutes ago. Jerry Springer's on, or he's typing an email, and he wanted to know the information, but now he really doesn't. <laughs> Here's another one. Are you kidding me? Really? Do you know how stupid that sounds? <laughs> I think we all heard that one. Here's another one that I heard just about every day. Don't let me forget my keys. <laughs> Don't let me forget my ID. <laughs> Don't let me forget my bag. <laughs> Don't let me forget my clothes. And the biggest one of all, don't let me forget my spit cup. <laughs> now, uh, anyone who's ever had uh, dealt with uh, Craig in a professional say setting, knows he has the ability to turn a compliment into both an ass chewing and a heckling all at the same time. <laughs> Case in point, he'll start off with, what the hell were you thinking? Lecture, 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 <laughs> lecture. And then it goes to, you're a very smart guy, unlike me, I'm just a dumb Missouri country boy. And then comes the joker insult, you know? You're as ugly as three hairs on a toad's ass. <laughs> and that was about every every dealing that we had with the, with Craig Bob. Now we all also all know that Craig has a bit of an ego. No. Just a little one. <laughs> <laughs> this comes in handy at times. And then at other times it'll make you want to choose a, pr a different profession. <laughs> it enables him to pull the truth out of a person and sometimes get the whole story when he has no clue whatsoever about the subject matter. <laughs> He'll go in circles, up and down, back and forth, until he beats you into submission. <laughs> and will never drop the subject until you finally relent. At other times, the ego pulls the oxygen from the room and you just want to escape. Case in point, went on a trip when the XO was uh, new to the command to uh, Dallas, Texas. Uh-oh. For the MRO conference. Uh -oh. First day in town, Tornadoes are hitting the area. We're tied up in the in the basement. Then there's thunderstorms. Well, that night there were a bunch of parties going on at the where we were, and our hotel was probably about what three quarters of a mile away, uh, walking distance. Mile and a half, Rich. Mile and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it was to the guy who walked that night. <laughs> Any anyhow, uh, we were hitting all the booths. There were beer booths. We we're having a good time. I uh, have our stuff up at the Com FRC booth and. Uh, XO is down with uh, Mr. John John's down at the uh, the specialty booth uh, where they have a huge party going on. Well, anyhow, uh, a couple of Southwest guys come up and say, hey, you need a ride? Not even batting an eyelash, boom, we're out of there. Not even thinking about the wingman. He's at a private party that we didn't get invited to. Now, when it came, his ego came into it when um, later on he shows up at our room, Craig's in his underwear, <laughs> sitting around because he didn't have a Speedo with him. <laughs> and the XO comes in and he's hot. Literally, I sweat through up. My khakis are soaked. <laughs> <laughs> I walk. <won. laughs> All right, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. He's hot because of the temperature. <laughs> and so he, start, he starts into, uh, you know, pretty good ass chewing for knowing him for as short a time as we do. I'm apologizing. He turns it on him. Well, where the hell were you? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You didn't, you didn't invite us down to the party. People there had a car. <laughs> Just one example of many. 
<laughs> with that, um, any of you who've been around him, you know, uh, he is actually, I don't know how many of you have been around country boys uh, in Nevada. I grew up with a lot of them. Uh, rodeo clowns, the like. Craig <laughs> <laughs> Bill's the prototypical country boy. Hardworking, competitive. Uh, anytime you walked into his office, he showed you exactly where the puzzles were that he knew that you couldn't figure out. And he could do it at any moments, at a moment's notice. He also had to show you, you know, where he had his arm around Geraldo Rivera in Haiti as a maintenance officer, doing whatever you do in Haiti as a maintenance officer. <laughs> <laughs> he also had, you know, his uh, his tribute to the the strongest man on earth, his the Macho Man. Um, he's also got the big ego, borderline sense of humor, yeah, and most importantly, intense loyalty. And with all of those, I'm really going to miss you. You've made it a blast. I've learned a lot. In fact, if it wasn't for uh, Commander Owen, I wouldn't have the job down at the site that I have now. Just want to thank you for everything. Thanks, Rich.